Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a beautiful collaboration, yes. Um, it's gonna be an African bride makeup tutorial collab with the one and only Songbird Diva for life. Oh my goodness. That the first tutorial ever, or first video ever, ever, that I saw from Sunbird herself, the diva herself, was her going to um, an African, I mean a Nigerian wedding, and she was wrapping her galay, and she was doing all her makeup and dancing and stuff, so I don't know, maybe like two years or three years later, here we are with another beautiful, beautiful collaboration with my friend, my love, my boo-boo, my text buddy, Diva, songbird diva for like, I love you so much girl, you already know, <laughs> you already know. So I put my heart into this and I hope you love the look, I hope you like the color, um, yeah, I hope, I hope you love it, I really do. I worked hard for this honey, I sure did, Woo, my back hurts. As you can see, my galay is super big, the bigger the better, only for you because you really are one of a kind and thank you so much for doing this collab with me. And I would also like to thank Chic Chalet for sending me beautiful galets to work with. So here they are. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this one, okay? The dress that I'm wearing is also by Ivo Couture. All right, so more dresses to come. Email me if you're interested. So here you can see the dress. Woo, yes, honey. All handmade. And my headpiece, my galet, my head wrap was wrapped by the one and only any baby four at very good bad girl on YouTube and my little my baby my little sister is soaking say hi Hello. <laughs> so yes guys I hope you love it please thumbs up please like this video and I will see you guys later and until then bye so start my primer color tattoo metal in the shade 55 ink and pink all over the mobile lid then I'll be taking truffle by Laura Mercier and applying that in my crease as a wash of color all right with a fluffy brush and then you're going to be taking some gel liner preferably from L'Oreal FAE number 171 and placing that on the outer corner of your eye and make sure you blend that in I'm using this Luna lace brush for that one then on the inner one half of my lid, I will be placing with still a metallic oil. This color, the gold one, is called Comet Gold. And then on the other part, over the black, I will be placing metallic emerald. Okay? And then what you want to do, just want to blend with a soft brown with truffle once again. Alright? Then I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown palette and I will be applying the Black Plum number 27 as a cut crease color. So take a very sharp angle brush and cut your crease. Once you've cut your crease, you want to take a pencil brush and now you just want to fade the crease off. You want to get rid of it, just want to fade it so it's not as sharp. All right. And then once you're done with that, we're also going to go back into Black Plum one more time and we're actually are going to intensify the crease. So first you draw the crease, then you blend the crease, and then you intensify the crease. Got it? Ooh, see, you're so smart. And then you're gonna take your gel liner, preferably the 77 by Inglot, and I'm gonna apply that inside my lash line with the fan brush from Sephora, okay? Then you just wanna go back again and apply some metallic emerald, if need be, with a synthetic brush. Then I'm once again gonna dip another eyeliner brush into the 77 eyeliner by Inglot, and I'm going to draw my cat eye. Now here I've already put my foundation on, which is the Long Comme Saint Visionnaire that I really, really love. So make sure if you're, that's the case for you, use a cotton puff that you're gonna press against your cheek and then you're going to draw your liner, okay? And then also take another, if you have a finer, finer brush, you wanna take that and work on the inner part of your eye so that way you can really open up the eye and give it a beautiful almond shape and then after that I am going to dip a clean pencil brush into blackout from the Naked 2 palette and just apply it on the cups of the crease between where the crease starts and your line meet 
all right so just place that there and keep buffing it away it shouldn't be visible but it should create some type of depth and that's why i'm putting it there so the crease looks deeper like in 3d okay so you blend up and then you blend going to the side in a lazy s type of shape all right beautiful yes 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 me doing then proceed with your concealer and an angle brush and we're just going to clean or sharpen the look of our brows then i'm taking an eye cold by l'oreal the big one placing it on my waterline then i'm taking another clean pencil brush and buffing that in now this paint pot is an eyeliner from estee lauder the pure color collection is beautiful purple just placing that on top of my waterline then for my lip liner, I am going to be using Burgundy, which is a lip pencil by MAC. Then I'm going to be using two different lipsticks from Milani. The first one is going to be 21 Sangria. And then on top of that, I will be placing Black Cherry. All right. Now, as a gloss, I'll be using my Shimmer Gloss by YSL number 47 to give it this metallic finish, foil finish. It's very, very pretty. Then you want to take your powder. I'll be taking my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation Powder to clean or to contour my lips. For my blush, it is a blush by MAC. I depotted the blush, so I don't remember the name of it. I'm, I'm sorry. And then on my cheeks, first I went with Warm Blend, then the Proper Copper, then the Lorac Baked Tantalizer. So blend that in to give my skin a nice glow. And then I'm using an Estee Lauder Mascara for my lashes. All right. And then on top of that, my lashes are Lena Lashes. All right, so here's the final look, ladies. I hope you enjoy this, and see you maybe tomorrow for another makeup tutorial. All right, bye. I've been looking for, for, for. That is why today, boy, I've been knocking at your door. Who you walk to your bedroom? I want you to dream, Johnny. The way you walk off to the bedroom. I want you to dream, Johnny. The way you walk to your bedroom. You got that I have been looking for That is why today, girl, I like came knocking at your door Yeah, anyway, before I carry on with my song Let me tell you something that was me